and where we pick up today. The three of you are on the edge of the cliff, a little ways down from where the wagon was secreted away into the trees. And the Minotaur is following. What would you like to do? Far away is he? How far away is he? I look behind. Uh, he's, he is about uh, 40 uh, feet behind you. Ara, this is a nice ride, but I think we're going to be in trouble if he catches up. I'm zooming as fast as my little horse legs can zoom. <laughs> I'm dashing away. All right, so has he, is, has it seemed like he's gaining on us, or am I keeping a decent enough pace to where I am? You're keeping a decent enough pace. Uh, he is moving very quickly. It's almost as though while his legs give the appearance of running, it's almost like he's moving faster than his legs would carry him, mm. which does, might not be unusual for someone who appears to be somewhat of a spiritual form. Unusual. Sorry. <laughs> I know you've missed me. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I think um, uh, we were running along the coastline because I'm trying. We were trying to go find the other ring, right? So we were trying to catch up to the other two people. That was the goal. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to stay steadfast on that and hope that we reach the children you... before he catches up to us. The children, uh, if you look at the map uh, in Roll20, you will actually get to see a uh, pretty good representation of where everyone is. Um, you know, see. something's... My screen just really messed up. Hopefully everything's working. <laughs> We're having trouble. I had a power outage, so bear with me as it's been, I... It's been a trial out. today. <laughs> what is going on with this blooming thing? Okay, there, I got the map up for the stream. The map should be up for you guys. So yeah, the three of you are about... Uh, 25 feet, give or take, from the cliffside as you're running directly towards it. You can almost see. And you know what? Let me put an aura back on that guy so he's more visible because we had yeah, that problem last time. Yeah, it's hard to see. Time, so. I see him up on that cliff edge. Yeah, let me, let me change that aura around him to a, a color that will stand out a little bit more. Maybe. Hmm. It's not showing you the aura, it's only showing me the aura, which is very unusual. Why is he not showing it? All right, well, I'll work on that in a minute. Uh, let me put a... There, I put a blue dot on him. Now you can see him. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to just start drawing things around he has, him. <laughs> he, has, he has a great red... He has a glowing red ring on my screen, but for some reason it's not translating over to, to the... That's okay. screen, so Who does? I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it right now. So the path that you are on, the uh, the children had continued uh, running along in this direction. Yeah. And they were followed by the young woman who had come out of the woods as well. So they are way off that way at this point. You do not see them. I will put it that way. You are closer to Prime and the wagon than you are to those children and the young woman. Um, oh, I can't, I can't really, com I can't communicate in horse form, really, can I? Um, no. Nay. Nay. <laughs> okay, well, Vara will kind of, like, look back as she's, as she's galloping, um, and kind of motion, like, with her head to Tikaros and, like, Winnie. And then, like, jerk her head back towards the cart. You but want me to jump off and go the, towards the cart? And then she'll neigh very loudly, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will... How fast are we going? Would I... We're going 120. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, I think I'm smart enough to think that would be dumb to just jump off. So. Well, I also say if she keeps moving at that rate, by the time six seconds passes, she's going to be off the edge of the cliff. Very true. 
Um, yeah, no, I would go ahead and slow, I'll slow down and I'll risk kind of slowing down and give you a chance to hop off and then I'll make a bunch of noise and keep running down the path. Excellent. Okay, at the slow down point, I will try and do a graceful acrobatics jump off Vara horse form. Give me an acrobatics check. Let's see how smoothly this goes. Yeah, so I guess you can say mechanically on this turn, I'm not dashing. I'll just do a regular 60 feet and then use my action to, I don't know, either persuade or perform to keep the attention of the specter on me rather than Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Um, Let's do a perform. Okay. Having to do something to get his attention. So look, look, look like a, look like a meaty horse or something. I will try. Let's see how it goes. That's a seventeen, not bad. Right. Ooh, Tickerous, and acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics fourteen. That's good enough. Um, you stick that landing. That's that's all right. You know, you may stumble a little bit, but uh, it, it gives you enough momentum to to kind of make your way and start heading towards the wagon. All right, so. Um, I think what we need to do at this point, let's get back into initiative because we lost that after we exited last time. And I think it would be a good thing back to be in initiative order. Sure. And we'll just re-roll sure. to start fresh on that. I don't know if I can take control of my token. Do what? I'm sorry. I don't think my token's interactable. Uh, you might need to redrag your token onto the screen. I Perfect. touched it uh, to put Bing. it on the screen, and that might have damaged it. So. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the turn order up here onto the screen for everyone. Went a little bit off the screen. Let's try and fix that. Try and make it where I can actually see it. Uh, actually, I have you on here twice, Farah. Which one's the real one? The one that's okay. off center was the one that I just dragged on. Uh, move, move the one you can move, and then I'll delete the other one. Thank you. Okay, that's I got the right one, and that one must be the Tikaros that can't move. But, ah, yeah. excellent. You Excellent. got it. I have you twice in uh, the the turn order as well. However, um, Tigros, oh, she rolled a seventeen this time around, so the nine is wrong. Right, and uh, Moira, which one is right for you? Eight. Eight is right for you. Okay. All right. Let's get that out of there. So I think that gets all of you. There's only three of you in there right now, and I think it's right, so we're going to go with it. Awesome. Okay. Well, with that, Tikaros, you're up. What would you like to do with your six seconds? I am going to move two times with my action and my movement, and that will get me back to the cart. All right. Excellent. Cool. That's what I'm going to uh, do. You dash to the cart. Uh, and as you approach yeah. the cart, you see that uh, Prime is uh, busily trying to awaken Ariana and Agrios. Uh, Ariana, he's kind of pushing on, and Agrios, he's kind of smacking back and forth. You know, Ooh, I'll help. Seems the Hi, Prime! <laughs> All right. Vara. Uh, I began dashing again. Right, and uh, go ahead and from where you're at, go ahead and move your token to where you would be after your dash. Let's see, and I think I, I was going to run on the cliff side, but the cliff side's a bit more jagged than I thought it was. So, I mean, also, I love that now that we have a map, we clearly could have walked down to the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... But from where you were and it being dark, you wouldn't have been able to see it. Plus, there was a giant fireball there so you know. I would be near all over so that's dragging you off 
the map a little bit for the screen, but that's okay. Cool. Hopefully I got everybody back on there. All you need to know is I'm a horse and I'm going. <laughs> you don't need to see where I'm at. You just need to know I'm a horse and I'm going. Just going I am fast. Hoofing it. Yeah. Hoof, hoof her down. Something like that. There you go. All right. Well, our Minotaur friend is going to have to make a decision as he sees the two of you split off. I am taking into account you, your performance as well. You should also keep in mind that I'm the asshole that killed people. <laughs> Take that into account too, maybe. <laughs> He runs and continues to pursue down to this. I'm going to move Ptolemaeus out of the way because otherwise I'm going to forget he's not there. And he, he moves down a bit closer to the road and then sees Tikaros go and kind of turns his head to think about it for a moment and then turns to pursue after Vara. Yeehaw! But that, that pause is going to cause him to fall behind a bit. Oh, nice. And as you run along the trail, uh, you see up ahead of you a little ways in the distance, three figures, a woman and two children. Let me put them in the right place down here because they're not in the right place. Come on, roll 20. You can cooperate with me. It's okay. Nobody minds if you participate and play friendly. So you guys are on opposite sides of the map, so that's really spreading this out on the screen. But <laughs> That's okay. Excellent. All right. So you see them up ahead. Uh, they are walking back your direction. And they're about 30 feet ahead of you, I guess. And they're walking very slowly. Uh, in fact, if you had to uh, make a decision about what you thought about them, they would look like they may be injured. Mm. And that brings us back to Tikaros. Heck yeah. I'm going to give Agrius a little slap because I know he'd like the pain, I think. But I'm going to stay away from his feet. I'm going to tell Prime to stay away from his feet. He, if When he wakes up, he like kicking people. So, And just try and shake Agrios and also Ariana. Try and wake them up as well. All right. uh, if you are going to take your action to do that, I will say that that awakens Agrios. Sure. And Ag I don't know why we think that Agrios is a masochist, but it's fine. <laughs> um, he wakes up. Oh, my God, my Base is sore. Mm. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, a lot. Sorry <laughs> about the slapping. I had to wake Fine. you up bec because v Vara is with a scary minotaur that's chasing us for many reasons, which we'll tell you, but you have to come and help right now. Uh, uh, minotaurs love to do that. All right. Oh, I'll see if I can talk to him. Let's go. Prime, can you watch the others? I can't wake Ariana up. Of, of course. That's what I was doing to begin with. I will just stay here with the cart like uh, I'm not a member of the full partner. <gasps> Happily. Okay, Prime, there's you. no time for this. There's no time for existential <laughs> dilemmas. This is the most important thing you can be doing right now. Oh, he said he'd mm -hmm. stay. By the way, Agrios, you may need to drag your token onto the board too, because again, I had put the token. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, yep. I will do that. No so worries. Do that. There I am. All right. And go ahead, and when you get a chance, roll initiative, and it'll add you to it, and we'll figure out where you're uh, going. Absolutely. I don't have my dice in here, so I'm going to be doing some digital rolling. All right. Don't forget to click your token before you do it, and maybe it'll actually register did. in the uh, turn order. Oh boy. <laughs> and it comes up in just the right order. So gotta love that. Okay, Vara, uh, you are up. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my wild shape. 
and cast healing spirit. Is there what there? How many people are there? 40? Yeah. So I'm going to place a healing spirit. Um, I don't know what you want to use for that next to the kids and stuff. So I'll kind of, as soon as I get to this point, I'll drop the horse form so they know it's me approaching them. Um, I'll cast healing spirit and then I'll walk up to them. Healing so spirit. healing spirit will do... <laughs> What did you choose? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, five foot cube. So obviously something that encompasses all of them. Um, well, if it's a five foot cube, it can encompass one of them. All right. Oh, well, it, it appears in a space that is a five foot cube. Whenever you're a creature, there's an Oh yeah, you have to walk right on him, huh? Yep. Goofy. But you can move it on subsequent turns. Who looks the most injured? Um, probably the children. Okay, I'll just do it on the closest one. So I guess the little boy first is okay. where the healing spirit would be. All right. Um, Very good. And then, because it's a child, can I share that space? Or no. Can you share the space with them? Or I'm trying to make sure yeah. I understand what you're asking. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, they are an ally, so you can't stop in the same space as them. But I could. I mean, they're not they're them. not like a halfling. They're a little taller than that. So that's fair. OK, cool. Well, I'll put the healing spirit on them and then I will. Uh, walk up and just be like. Yo, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> yeah, so I'll come up and I'm like breathing heavy and I'm just like, oh, here, um, if, if you um, come, come to the healing spirit, it'll help you. And they, they will make their way. Um, the little girl, however, because your turn is now over, <laughs> the little girl yes. is going to look up and point down the road and go, oh, no. It's coming this way again. Mm -hmm. And it is going to run a bit and end up about right there. And it is, it is running your way. It still looks angry, but maybe not as angry as it did a minute ago. It's kind of like it's let its hammer down a little bit as it is continuing in your direction. Is the boy's turn the same as the little girl's? Yeah, they would all. I've okay. I've got them all on the same thing, but go ahead, you can move it, and and it's your move, not theirs. So they've got to step into it. But sure, they step through. Everybody does a nice little. Uh, well, it's if they're if they if their turn starts, um, yeah, it would. We'll we'll say we'll say yes that they do. So. Okay, I I rolled a three, so I don't know if you just want to apply three to all of them if they kind of do a little circle right. through. Let me see we'll, how many. We'll do that the easy way so I don't have to calculate uh, turns for each one of them. One plus your. They're, they're, they're non combatants in this fight at this point. So. Great. So right. they all get Agrios. healed for whatever amount. Okay. Three. Cool. And they, they look a little bit better. Uh, they were, they're definitely okay. still look kind of bruised. So they were battered on pretty intensely. And, uh, you know, what's the, the old phrase? Uh, beat you half to death? Maybe yeah. they were three quarters. Gotcha. All right, so let's see. Uh-huh. I live. Where are they? So they're all the way down there, damn. It's a long way to run. It is. All right, let's see how far away I am. Oh, my. That's <laughs> many. It's, 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 it is many. <laughs> all right. Uh, I believe I can, uh, I mean, I can move and dash for 80. This is going to take me a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start, I'm going to start running that way. This is as far as I make it this turn. Um, let's see, how far am I now? Is there anything I can do from range? I only have a bonus action left anyway. No, that's 125 feet. I don't have anything bonus action that's going to do anything at that range. Okay. Uh, that's me. I ran. 
<laughs> All right, uh, Tikaros. Hey, guess what? I'm going to be just as exciting. I'm going to run too. <laughs> but I've got, I'll have 70, so I'll be a little ways behind Agrios. I'll be starting to fall behind a little bit. So I'll move 70 feet um, with my right. move and dash. And that's it. That's it for me this time. All right. The exciting intro rounds where everybody just runs and, <laughs> and heals yeah. people. And I just sit here. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on I, it. I know, I know, I know. I'm not I'm not actually shady. I'm just like <laughs> I'm running through the woods. <laughs> but a pop out of the portal like in end game. <laughs> Vara, you're up. Yeehaw. All right. Um if everyone moved in such a way that I could, I would love to step into the healing spirit space. No problem. Go ahead. Great. And I heal for two. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then the spirit disappears. Um, I'm going to ask if they have the ring, if they've seen it at all, or what they threw in the ocean. I'm going to try to get as much information for them as possible within the round of combat. <laughs> the main thing is that I'm looking for the ring. But as a secondary, what did you throw in the ocean? As you ask them that and say, tell me exactly how you asked that question. Um, okay, I'm going to try to make it brief. Uh, I just returned a ring that I found in the ocean. I'm looking for the other one. Do you have it? At that point, both the little boy and the little girl are going to look terrified of you and step behind the mother. Oh no, she's with them. Protect us. Oh no, no, no. I just you're, need the ring. It's your turn. important. We'll come back uh, to you. Your turn's <laughs> over for <Okay. laughs> And is there anything else you're gonna do on your turn besides talk and approach them and stand over them like this big hulking uh I think I'm gonna creature. take a step back if they're scared of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything I can to posture non intimidatingly. If they're like hiding behind the mom, I'm gonna kind of like step away and be like, oh. All right. So I'll just take a step back out of the space. Oh, and the healing spirit disappears. I don't know if I said that. They are gone. All right. Well, our Minotaur is going to uh, approach, slowing down a little bit as he moves forward. And he's going to pick his hammer up and kind of, you know, kind of like you've seen Agrios do various things with his shield to kind of get that uh, posturing of, I'm a bit miffed and I'm, I'm a big tough guy kind of thing. And he's going to kind of lay it in his hand and back to them again. They don't have the ring. I already asked them. And he is going to uh, raise his hammer and go. But I guess I can finish what happened earlier. Where is the ring? Agrios, you're up. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I have no idea that any of this is going on or that there's a discussion about a ring. I'm just like, oh, there's a minotaur mad that my friend, I speak, I speak the language. I can probably figure it out. I'm going to run this way. Okay. I speak jive. <laughs> Land, I believe it was right here. Uh -huh. Sure, you just. Um, I'm going to then with my one remaining with my bonus action. I still have that. <laughs> I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon six, uh, 45 feet away from me. Okay. No, let's see, not 45 feet. How long away from me? That'd be far uh, enough. No to hit way. The I, re I, I remember. I was going to talk to these people. I wasn't going to attack them. I forgot. <laughs> For once, Agrios is like, I could talk to these people. Do I see the Minotaur over there? Oh, absolutely. You can see this Minotaur. He looks a little unusual, though. He seems to be somewhat uh, insubstantial. Okay. Which one is the is the blue thing? The blue dot. The blue dot. Because okay, you, he's right here. You just can't see him clearly otherwise. Yeah, unfortunately. He's only 20 feet away from me. All right. Uh, you know what? Can I figure out what the deal is with him? What is his deal? Uh, I guess you can do a perception and see what you can figure out. 
Perception. All right. That's not what I was hoping, but let's go for it. Well, you're uh, not I don't close know enough to really thing. investigate, and that would, I mean, you could try, I guess. But... I don't i don't know a damn thing. Um, <laughs> I need my real dice. This is, this is going poorly for me. <laughs> Uh, as you uh, look All at right. this creature, uh, it's a minotaur. He has a hammer, and he does look somewhat insubstantial. Um, but he looks like most minotaurs you've seen before. I mean, you've been in an army right. of them, so, you know. All right, well, I'm going to speak up. I'm a little hazy. I just woke up. Um, you know, maybe a slight concussion. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to uh, speak up in minotaur and be like, Hey, hello. Why are you chasing my, uh, chasing my comrade? And he will turn to look over his shoulder at you, but we'll handle his response on his turn. All right. Icarus. I'm catching up. I'm playing a big catch-up game. Oh, man, 70 feet. I can't catch up and do anything. So I'm just going to run again. That's me. <laughs> yep. Right. And gets up there. So I can see what's happening, but I can't do anything else. That's my turn. Okay. All right. So Vara. Um, I'm going to plead to the Minotaur. I'm going to look at him and go like, listen, I understand you have a duty to your temple. My Friends will fight you and kill you to protect me. I just want to find the ring too. So can we agree to be on the same side? All right. The Minotaur looks over his shoulder and sees Agrios coming up and hears him, you know, hey, hey, dude. Hey, bro. How, what, how's it going? Uh, what seems to be the problem here, dude? Yeah. Like... You're harsh in my buzz. <laughs> and then Vara asking him her question, he's going to turn back and go, No, it is not me you have to appease. You have destroyed what the two were protecting in the temple. What do you think they're going to do now? And he's going to step right up to Vara, kind of towering over her, and lean down in. Well, what are you going to do? And he will shove you. Does he shove me with enough force to do damage? <laughs> he shoves you with enough force to knock you back a little bit. If you want to roll for it, we okay. can see how much force that is. It's up to you. Just give you can you can give me a strength check to see how well you can withstand the. Uh, oh, that'd be great. Here, let me make, so let me look back. Okay. I just think it'd be really funny if he shoved me to unconsciousness. Okay, um, strength, so just your, do a your strength, DC. strength, or a saving throw? Uh, just do a strength, strength. Yeah, let's do it contested. We'll do a strength, strength. Okay. And you said disadvantage? I'm sorry? Did you say disadvantage or no? No, I did not. No, okay. I did not. Well, I still only got a nine, so... <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't pushing you too hard. That was only a ten. But that okay. is going to be enough to push you backwards. And knock you off your feet. So I'm prone another square. Okay, cool. Agrios, you have just seen this uh, big monstrous guy shove Vara. Vara's also heavily injured. <laughs> he also ignored me when I yelled at him, right? He was like, whatever. He looked at you and went right back to what he was doing. Absolutely. Don't ignore me. I know. Now I'm peeved. Uh, I don't like that he ignored me, so I am going to summon my spiritual weapon in this space directly between him and Vara. Uh, 
and then move up to him. Uh, let me drag my spiritual weapon token onto the board. Question is whether I go ahead and attack. What am I saying? Of course I'm going to go ahead and attack. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that will deal. Probably a bad idea to be doing this without my dice. Okay, not bad. Okay. It's oh, it it wasn't supposed to be third level. It's a it's I'm casting it at the second level spell slot. Okay, I'm I'm not looking at the dice rolls anyway. I'm waiting for you to tell that's me because I'm that's on a different. Screen. All right, so I rolled a twenty one to hit with eight force damage. Uh, that is definitely a hit. Force damage of eight. All right. And then I am going to myself bang on my shield and toll the dead uh, okay let's see so he has to roll a wisdom saving throw 14. a 14 you say he failed yep. miserably all right uh in that case it will take my fifth level so it is 2d12 damage. Well, only an 11. That's pretty good, though. All right. Uh, and it is, I believe, necrotic damage. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I do that. I'm a bit angry. I said, that's what you get for ignoring me. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. Ticarus. Oh, man. Things are heating up. As I run, I'm going to, let me see how far my run gets me. If I just move at this point, I can move 35. Oh man, I'm still so far away with my little <laughs> satyr hooves. All right. That's what I'm, yes. What I will do though is move with my 35 feet of movement. Um, and, oh, sheesh, decisions. I've just seen Ag Agrios be Agrios. And, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is with my action, prep a firebolt. And if the Minotaur hurts either one of my friends, I'm going to let it loose. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Adrastos, um, as you are running through the woods to try and get where you would assume these people would be, uh, you break out of the tree line. And I'm going to put you, I'm going to ping roughly where you would be. So let's put you right up around here, if you can see that ping on the map. Unfortunately, it's under the turn order thing, so. Hold on, ping again? Ah, okay. Okay. Here-ish. I will add your initiative into this. I will try to add your initiative into this, if. Our friend roll 20 will cooperate. There we go. Let me get this back into descending order. And to Drastos. You come out of the woods around this uh, large stones just in time to uh, see a Drastos's hammer, which you've seen before, appear and whack at this. Agrios? You, you mean Agrios's I'm axe. sorry, Agrios. This time you did it the other way. <laughs> I was like, Whatever. why did I get a hammer? Awesome. <laughs> big big horsey guy's hammer uh appears and it's big cowboys. It's, it's an axe head. though. So, damn it, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Bye Tam. Oh no. <laughs> I'm DM just, now. just just finish the fight. Let me know how it goes. Adrastus, you're up. Okay. Um, well, I do see the axe of Agrios hit this Minotaur, and I also see a prone Vara. And that Minotaur has pushed the Vara button. 
and he should not have done that. <laughs> so, I'm going to see if I can have a word with him. I can have a word with him. Yoinkus. Okay. So, I'm going to scooch on over here. And I'm going to give him a good old one-two with a fainting attack. All right. I will let you Surprise! know that your, Stab. your attack rolls are at disadvantage. Okay. Well, with a fainting attack, it's normal. Yep. Um, and I am also going to roll real dice because roll 20 is usually very not nice to me. Look as you get there. Um, oh, butts. That's okay. 15. That's a hit. Awesome. All right. So, get a fainting attack. So, that's. Uh, 16, oh gosh, I just hit puberty, guys. 16 damage. <laughs> what type of damage? Uh, slashing. Okay. As you slash across this creature, it doesn't seem to do, you definitely see a wound, but there's no blood and you see as the slash goes across, but the slash almost looks like it seals up a bit behind it. It's still there, but you didn't do quite as much damage to it as you visibly thought you were going to. That's okay. I'm going to do it again. This one is with disadvantage, though, because I only get advantage on the first one. Um, oh, a nat 20. Oh and lord. Well, this fight's 11. over. No. <laughs> 11. Okay. I'm very sad. <laughs> well, it's max dam if it if you do an at 20, it's 11 plus uh, max damage. Well, yeah, but it's with disadvantage. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh, so you reroll. Okay, you got an at 20 and then I misunderstood you. Yeah. yeah that no, God, if I gotten two nat twenties, that would have been. I would have said just end the fight, Tam. We're done. That would. That. I, that's why when you said it was an at twenty, I was like, "Well, crap, this fight's over." <laughs> okay, better then. We're good. All right. Okay. Anything else addressed us? Um. Nope. That was action, movement, and bonus. All right. Um. Actually, no. There is one more thing. Um. I, I'll just like look around. We're like, you guys started without me. Jumped out to yeah, surprise the assistant. Minotaur, and a Agrios looks, if anything, more surprised. <laughs> Were you surprised? Vara. I was surprised. <laughs> Vara, you're up. I could let you sit there longer if you'd like. You know. Um. Well, I'd like to go ahead and use my action to stand up. <laughs> okay. First of all, um, I'm gonna look to the kids again. They are and definitely kind of, cowering behind the uh, woman. Yeah, I want to speak to the kids, but you know, also to the woman as well, and just kind of say, like, um, if you have the ring or know where it is, just please let me know. And if not, leave, run away, go back to the village. I, I, I don't have the ring. We, we threw it into the water. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, huge. Okay, Vara takes off <laughs> and I will well I can't dash so I'm gonna go 30 feet gosh there's a car horn going off in the parking lot we'll see how long that goes that's gonna be really fun okay and I will get to here I assume you're going to make your route circuitous enough to stay out of uh, melee range of this minotaur. Yeah, I think um, what I measured it out. I'm good with it being guess, somewhat circuitous, so I think I guess I would fun. cross here. So 
yeah, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, so it'd be like a diagonal down and then along the trees, basically, there. Okay. That shouldn't hit I'm, his line. I am good with that. Sweet. You're not in an enclosed space, so you can definitely make yourself uh, do that. So, okay. Cool. Very good. And that'll be my turn. Okay. The Minotaur, now having been smacked and slashed, He's back to his angry state where he is blowing steam from his nostrils and he is going to take his hammer and just smack backwards across both Agrios and Adrastos. And then that triggers my firebolt! Yes, it does. Go for it. Well, he hasn't hurt anybody yet. You said if he hurts anybody. Let's see if he actually does yeah. any. No. I'm joking. He attacked him. Go ahead. <laughs> But you first, because he's doing his thing, right? Yeah, but I'm okay if you want to go ahead and uh, do your thing. Okay! <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> not, it's not great. It's a nine to hit. Damn. Uh, that misses. I'm, I'm just too excited at seeing Adrastos, and I'm off my game. <laughs> so he is going to swing across. He will connect with Agrios, I believe, because that is a dirty 20. Yeah, hits me. Okay. How much does so that I, hurt me? I normally roll damage when I roll the die. I am just off my game tonight a little bit. <sighs> Apologize. Off my game. Hey, that. that Never forgive you. Yes. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. So. That is going to be. Uh, six slashing damage plus seven force damage. Oh, I don't want that. Ooh. <laughs> take it back. No, take yeah, take it back. Uh, no, and, I didn't order this. Please, please send it. And as he slings the hammer across Agrios, this firebolt goes flying by, which slightly distracts him a little bit, and his swing goes wide. Adrastos, because I guarantee you, a six does not hit. You'd be some, no, it doesn't. God, could you imagine the fighter having an AC of six? <laughs> no, how would it ever happen? That's it's impossible to me. I mean, unless you had a, what would your decks have to be with no armor? Uh, nice like a one. One, yeah, a bit of yeah. that's what. <laughs> but he's going to swing wide with that and make eye contact with. Agrios, back off. This is not your fight. Agrios, I believe that's who's up. Yep, that's you. Well, it didn't have to be, but it is now. <laughs> ah, this is more like it. Uh... Let's see, what is he going to do? What's that crazy boy going to do? Um, aside from my spiritual weapon attacking again with another bonus action. Hmm. And I will say yes, that your that. attacks are at disadvantage. My attacks are at disadvantage, but why? Because that is one of the features of this creature. Even even magical attacks. All right. Yes. Very well. As he uh, now that you're close on to him, you can see that that insubstantiality is actually because he doesn't appear to be standing in one place at any given time. It's almost as gotcha. though he's blurry. Gotcha. Okay. It's almost as if he has a blurred form. Uh, a disadvantage, so let me roll that again. And I rolled the exact same thing twice, 19. That is still a hit. With six force damage. All right. And I, uh, finding that it's difficult for weapons to seem to be able to hit this guy normally, I'm going to bang on my shield again, sending out that sort of dull tone that, uh, Shakes him to his core. Uh, he has to make another wisdom saving throw against Toll the Dead. All right. 
And that is, uh, that's wisdom, right? Yep. That's 18. Yeah, he succeeds. All right. Nothing happens there. Um, I am going to then sort of circle around to flank him with uh, Adrastos. We are using flanking rules, right? But, but his attention is on you, so it's a matter of whether he would, his attention would follow you or not. So we'll have to see where that goes. But Okay. Yeah. So flanking, will, you know, he has I, to be kind I, of the other way. But, you know, we'll I see, because Adrastos may me. get his attention before your turn comes up again, too. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's, I'm cool I'm, I mean, I'm flanking him for the benefit of Adrastos, is what I mean. Ah, but yeah. ah, sorry. Gotcha. Yeah, I've already done all my attacks. So, I am so uh, that, is, that is my turn. All right. Picaros. Adrastos! I missed you so much! She yells in the midst of battle and then quickly uh, co collects herself. God. Probably should have noticed Adrastos and said something. Huh? <laughs> I just kind of ran. You know what? You're, you're, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. No. no. Super injured. Hug me you if we like... survive. <laughs> <laughs> when we survive. Yeah. And also she collects herself then and goes, Myra's trying to help the Minotaur. It's not what it looks like. He's just angry. And then she'll take off uh, in the direction where she saw Vara going because she doesn't want Vara to be alone at the moment. She's so injured. Oh, thank you. And that's it for now. That's her turn. All right. Addressed us. I've missed you too. You're right. That isn't what it looks like. But sometimes the best way to calm someone down is to knock them unconscious. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to spend another superiority die to faint the flicker. Okay. So if, if his form is flicker, I'm going to say it's like Adrasos is like waiting until the flicker solidifies and then attacking that. Okay. But uh, attack rolls are still disadvantaged, so that would put you at a normal roll. Yeah. Let's make it your roll clear. Uh, we are 19. That is a hit. Oh, but 10 damage. All right. Slarshing. Yep. Again, the slash cuts across him, but doesn't seem to uh, create quite the wound you felt it would. So if I'm flanking, does that give me a normal attack with non-faint attack? Because his attention is on Agrios. I'm happy to say yes. Awesome. Then for my second attack, for my next trick! <laughs> uh, 20, 30. All right. And that will do nine damage. All right. Sorry, I had to do some math there. Okay. No, that is okay. That is... It... I don't think I want to move because if he does turn his attention to me, I want to give Adrios the same benefit. Right. So, yeah. I'm... I'm good. All right. Vara. Yeehaw. I dash. <laughs> okay. Where are you dashing and, to? I'm going to go ahead and. Well, so last time when we were theater of minding, I jumped off the cliff into the water. But based on this map, that is 20 feet away. La 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 last time there was no map, and I was saying it was all cliff line, but apparently there was a mold earth that went on while you guys were at the temple. And, and right. It's... So we're <laughs> it was operating. An we're operating post earthquake, not pre. So yeah, so I will go ahead and take this convenient little route down this time. So I've got sixty feet of movement, um, which will put me. Let's see, yep, about right here, I think. Okay. And, uh, and just just for sake of clarity, where you had jumped off previously was over here. Okay, let me near the cart, right? Perfect. Okay. Near the cart, yeah, that's correct. Good to know. If you want, I can put a little. I can try and draw an X or something there. Okay. Oh no! It's, uh oh. Too late. Oh, Already perfect. Anyway. Beautiful. Right. 
Very good. That's that. Uh, Agrios, um, your response was, it is now, I believe is what you said. I did say that, yes. He is going to swing his hammer down at you quite hard. Oh. Raggle, raggle. Uh, I'm going to assume that the 11 misses on that first hit. It does, it does. He's going to swing past you and lean in. I never forget a face. I know who you are, child. And then he's going to bash out with the hammer towards you, and that is going to be a 23. I mean, that'll, that might hit. 23. <laughs> that might It'll hit. graze me. Yeah. Oh, you just barely made it. I don't know if that showed up on camera, but I just launched my pencil into my chest. Ow. Amazing. <laughs> so I, I think I got advantage on that roll for my, against myself. Uh, that is going to be six slashing damage, oh, no. followed by 11 force damage. Ooh. That is exactly my HP. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, Agrios goes down at zero HP. Goodness. Exactly. Never, yeah, it's never enemy. fight against the army. And uh, Agrios, I guess since uh, you're down, that is going to... Uh, to see, Ptolemy, I told you. Ptolemaeus is not here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Is Ptolemaeus uh, guess, an elder god? Are his dreams really, causing chaos? I really do I, think so. I think there's something. <laughs> Uh, Agrios, I'm going to need that saving throw, please. Oh. Let's see, where is it on D and D Beyond? Uh, oh, here's the die. I think it's less so that Ptolemaeus is cursed, and more so. I rolled that a nat twenty. Constantly doing garbage. <laughs> Gar garbage decisions. <laughs> Every session, <laughs> and it's just easy to blame it on Ptolemaeus, but in reality. I, it's just every session. <laughs> I could, remind me, what happens when you roll a nat 20 on a death save? That is that is two up. Two saves, yeah. So yes. Right. Good stuff. Yes. So one more you and you're in good shape. So all right. Tikaros. Um, I assume you were following Vara because you ran down that direction, so you saw where she went. So your attention would probably be that direction, my guess. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think I would have seen any of what just happened up there. And I'm going to continue to dash and follow Vara okay. at this point in time. Um, yeah. So, yeah, move and action for me, just following. Mm -hmm. And as I do, I'll kind of, because I've got 70 feet, what I'm going to do, she'll just flit up like 10 feet ahead of you, Vara, and just go, Look out for danger. You look terribly injured. We've got to be careful down here. And she's just all discombobulated and a bit anxious. I'm going to be a shark. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. Adrastos, uh, the Minotaur has uh, apparently stated he recognized Agrios as he pummeled him into the ground. And his attention. And then he said direction. the words, and I want to make sure I heard this correctly. Don't fight the army. Uh, don't fight against the army. Yes. Great. Well, I see you've activated my backstory trap card. <laughs> it's kind of my I mean, job. So, sounds like mine too. To be honest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you play Team Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Well, I'm definitely gonna faint attack that. And I'm going to stab him in the butt. Hopefully. The worst of all places to be stabbed. Uh, yeah. Oh, there are it. worse. Trust me. <laughs> 18. Uh, that is a hit. Nice. Uh, that's more like it. That will be... 18 slashing damage. All right, give me just a second as uh, the turn order was covering up the icon. There we go. You said 18? Sometimes I hit hard. 18, that is what I said. Thank you very much. All right. Um, 
Attack the second with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. He's big and clunky. 11? <laughs> That's a miss. Okay. Close. But I had miss. to check. Yep, yep. Very valid. Um, all right. That's not everything. Um, I'm going to move in the direction of my friends to get between their flight and this monster. Okay. And also kind of stand next to Agrio so that it can't coup de grace him. Okay. Very good. Vara. All right. Um, so I will walk down to the water. 10, 15, 20, 25. And of course, 30. I still have not uploaded your blooming shark. That's I'm okay. Sorry about that. So I will walk down into the water um, and I will use my action to wild shape into a shark. All right. Big greenish blue looking shark with fun little finsies. Very good. You are now. I am now shark. shark mode. Yeah. To do, to do. All right. I am fighting a problem with uh, roll 20 once again, as usual. Okay. All right. You are in shark mode and in the water. Sweet. And any bonus actions or anything else you're going to do? Or are you just on the edge of the water as a shark at the moment? Uh, no, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, if I can, so sharks have blind sight. Um, so I guess in theory, the bonus action would be now that I'm shark in water, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm sniffing. I'm on the hunt. So I guess maybe a bonus action of, if that is, a, it's kind of on the line of bonus action versus action of like kind of trying yeah, to see if there's a I, will, I, will, I, can I will gladly throw in a, a, a perception check if I know what you're looking for. Yeah, so like, so I think based on the fact that I am shark, it's more of a scent kind of thing. Um, and... I'll do it at disadvantage because okay. what do you have in the scent of? And the only thing I can think of is you were close enough to the decaying bodies yeah. That had been wearing the rings? Yeah. But I'm, you're also follow, I'm following the I'm following corpse scent. <laughs> corpse and alabaster. So disadvantage <laughs> perception. Sick. Okay. Nice. 18. Wow. All right. Uh it takes you a moment once you're under the water, but you suddenly pick up this this faint smell of the dead that is very similar to the pre the pre burned corpse smell <laughs> from the old beautiful, and it is heading uh, deeper out into the bay. Cool. Okay, and that'll be my turn, and then I'll follow that direction next turn. All right. The Minotaur uh, is with Adrasto stepping around. And now another review. And he is going to take two swings at Adrastos. Bring it on, beef boy. Okay, I rolled the same thing on both dice. I'm going to pick them up. Ha <laughs> ha! I rolled two insults dice at the are same how you curse dice. I got a nat one on both of them. So tan. <laughs> I'm gonna do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I have another superiority die left. So when that second swing comes through, Adrasos is gonna bat it aside with his shield and then just bring up his sword for his riposte attack. All right. Excellent. Using my last superiority die. Uh, so this is with disadvantage. Before. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess technically it shouldn't. You know what? Because I screwed up so bad, no. Just roll a regular okay. roll. <laughs> he rolled two nat ones. Come on. He's got to be off balance. Are you fucking kidding me? I it's a one. It. It's a natural one. What is happening? <laughs> oh, I freaking love it. And this isn't Roll20's fault. <laughs> this is the real world hating on oh us. Oh my tonight. god. <laughs> oh. I love it. I'm trying not to hit Agrios. That's that's my that's my excuse. <laughs> awesome. Man. Uh, speaking of Agrios. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm lying on the ground, man. I'm not even standing up. <laughs> You're big. And my sword is big. Just lift your sword up a little bit. <laughs> Lie down. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to have a death saving throw, please. Uh, I w what if I would mind, though? Uh, I'd like one you anyway. Just and I'm just going to say, just we've, had three nat one, we've had three nat ones in a row. Oh, <laughs> so this boy. could be interesting. Oh, boy. It's a nine. Why is it a nine? I don't want it to be that. Well, it's not an app one, it. though. So that's two up, one down. So you're still uh -huh. still in the game, so to speak. Yeah. So they say. Tikaros. Okay. I have seen Vara do her fancy shark thing in front of me and disappear. Mm, I have to follow her. I'm going to clasp my little necklace and start levitating into the air as I cast fly on myself. Okay. And I'm going to try and follow Vara's progress um, on top like of the water. And I'm going to try and just above. track her. Okay. Exactly. Okay. As long as she doesn't go too deep. Now she is heading out and the bay is going to get deeper, but for now I, I think you'd be able to track her. Okay. As we go, okay, we'll do uh, perception checks to see if you're I got able my to shark fins. <laughs> yeah. And I'll, but if well, you're just following for good the measure. Scent, yeah. Yeah. Ahead, sorry. Well, just for good measure, I'll use my voice powers. Vara, I'm following you in the sky. Oh, <laughs> you'll, see the, you'll see the shark head and it's poke out like, what? <laughs> Look what I can do now. <laughs> the shark can't see. So they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Adrastos. That's it. So Adrastos is going to kind of taking a defensive stance, drop his sword behind his shield in like a warrior way. But what he's actually doing is transferring it to his other hand so he can reach into his pouch. He's going to pull out a gold coin and he's going to say, It's not your time, brother, and plop it down on Agrios. All right. So that is five HP, I believe. This is the coin yep. that Vara had given a. Uh... It us. is. I'm five HP. Yes, you have five HP. Nice. And then, because this guy doesn't get to get away from me without <laughs> at least a little bit of a tickle, I'm action surging. All right. And I'm gonna punch him twice with disadvantage. I'm not actually punching him. I'm hitting him with my sword. I realize I have to clarify. <laughs> Um, math 15. Uh, that's a hit 10 damage. All right, and that one <laughs> that's a miss. I, I really wow. <laughs> Gosh, are you sure? Check again. Yeah, yeah. Just thought I'd let you know that that was a miss. Okay. That's okay. He's up. It's fine. All right. Fine. Fine. Vara. All right. Um, I swam out towards the scent. Okay. So you're attempting to track this scent, and let's yes. do a survival. Since you are now tracking. Yeehaw, that's a 17. Okay. And sharks can swim 40 feet. Yep. 
So you are beginning to get a little bit deeper as you have to track this because as you get to the top of the water, there would be more current and stream and you wouldn't uh, necessarily pick it up as much. But it definitely seems to be going out. You're definitely farther out now than you were when you found the other ring from the shore. And, you know, with that high, with that high of a perception roll, you're picking up that scent of a dead, but you're also picking up another scent that you would be somewhat familiar with from your time um, on the other side of the water when you were growing up living under the sea. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Just kind of that uh, certain, it, it's not like the animal smells you know, of fish yeah. like whales or, the, or or anything like that. Definitely a humanoid type of smell, that, something that's a little more peculiar to them than what you would get. Uh... Interesting. Okay. Vara, uh, Vara would be focused on ring first, but she would definitely check that out. All right. Well, it's coming from the same location. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's kind of like an overlapping thing, so. Ooh, okay. All right. Seeing you throw that coin down and hit Agrios with it and uh, awaken him. Uh, who you were down, so I'm assuming you're prone at this point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, That's gonna very go, he's, right. he's gonna look and uh, raise his hammer and go. I said down, and he is going to hammer. At Agrios. Wait, me? Yes. I am down. He knows you, he knows you woke up. He knows you woke up. Stop swinging at me. Maybe he just doesn't like you. That is an 18. That is my AC. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, not so bad this time. Uh, that is going to be uh, two slashing damage. And you're going to hate this part. Yeah. Tell me it's three. <laughs> it is three force damage. It's exactly my HP again. I'm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was really hoping it would be, you know, slightly less. But, you know, on the other hand, um, as he brings back up the hammer and smashes against Adrastos. Um, does a nat 20 hit? I can't hear it, but I have a feeling the words are probably... <laughs> no, they're very kind. It said, yes, it hits. I deserve this. <laughs> okay. So I guess that's going to be max damage plus the roll. Uh -huh. And you are going to truly hate this uh to be before i roll that's going to be eight eight uh, slashing damage plus 20 force damage okay followed by an additional six slashing damage and six force damage okay i'm still up all right And I'm going to swap out my D10s because they're not being very good now. I should have told you with that. So. Yeah, do better, Tam. Come on. Yeah, do better. Do better. He's he's an evil bad guy. And Agrio, since your attention... Well, not Agrio, sorry. Adrasto, since your attention would probably be... Uh, heightened at this moment, you will notice two figures that are approaching very slowly. They're not walking. They are kind of floating their way forward. And man, the tokens just do not show up well on this board. So let me see if I can add some highlight to them here. My apologies. I tried to do the aura on them, but for some reason the aura is not showing up. So you can see them up there. And they're kind of floating their way in. Um, not really familiar to them. One appears to be 
a satyr. And the other is uh, more of a human shape. Agrios, I am sorry. I am going to need a death saving throw again. No need to be sorry. That's how the game is played. This was, it is what it is. I blame Ptolemaeus. With my last breath, I curse Zoidberg. I mean Ptolemaeus. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Tikras. La la la, nobody's dying. I'm just having a nice fly in the air. Life is good. All right. Uh, as Let's I follow just... Vara, yeah, I'm just okay. total support bestie from the air, just making sure okay. nothing's going to hurt. And she yeah, is Vara. beginning to get a little bit deeper into the water, um, so you're kind of losing visibility on her a little bit. You know roughly where she's going, though. Okay. Just as much as I can, all my concentration on her. Okay. Yeah. Drastos. Drastos is going to spit blood on the ground. Kind of crack his jaw. You get one. And he's going to attack back. <laughs> With disadvantage. 14. Uh, that's a hit. And that will be 13 slashing damage. Wow. Awesome. All right. Attack numero the second one. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, not high enough. It was a miss before, so it's a miss now. That's okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. So you Address definitely... those hits hard. It's okay. You definitely, while there's no blood, you can definitely see the places where you have and have left marks slashing him open, and he's taken quite a few wounds. Vara. I'm swimming. Swimming straight towards the scent. All right. Give me another check. Uh, perception? Uh, survival. Or survival. Tracking. Okay. Yeah. Great. 16. All right. You're still on the trail. The water is darkening, but you're not using sight anyway. You're smelling yeah. your way along. Um, and it's, but you notice the, the bays reach that point where it starts dropping off and it, you know, it stays sea level for a pretty good ways up into the bay before it angles up to the shore. So it's definitely getting deeper. You really don't see a lot. It's it's sand. Uh, the rocks from the shoreline have kind of faded out, and you're just in that sandy beach bottom at this point. She's in her element. Far as far as quite pleased. She's forgetting the fact that she's severely <laughs> wounded. She's just kind of like, ah, I'm a shark. This is fun. <laughs> right. Leonin, I have no qualm with you. Take this fallen child of Crassus away from here and stay out of my way. Do I respond or do I have to wait for my turn? Uh, you can re you can respond ver verbally, and then we'll move on. I will do so, but you will not take one step further towards the people. I will protect them with my life. If you wish to advance on the Triton or the Satyr, it will be over my corpse. I don't care about them. And he will turn and look over at the children and the young woman. And Agrios, I'm going to need a death saving throw, please. We ain't looking hot. That's two uh, down. So. This is why you don't split the party. 
Uh, okay. Yeah. Ficaros, uh, as you are following along, Vara Shark begins to disappear into the darkness. And I'm going to go ahead and ask for a, a perception in this case. You're not so much tracking as keeping an eye on to see if you can still make out her shape in the waters. Yep. Twelve. You, you're you beginning to have a little trouble. You see a couple of things that look, at first you think it might be her that went on, and then you go, no, 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 this has got to be her. So you continue to follow that path. Adrastos. What is their crime? They stole the rings from court. They've desecrated a sacred temple. They have angered the guardians of that temple. And their payment for this crime is their life? It could be. That's not up to me. Very I... well. Before he finishes, sword goes <laughs> forward. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Uh, miss and miss. <laughs> As you charge for him, he's actually becomes incorporeal for a moment and kind of slides to the side. So your 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 two attacks just go past him. Okay. Um. Now I'm in the way of him and the kids. All right. I have no need to hurt them. And he kind of points over his shoulder at the two figures that appeared. They're the ones you're going to have to worry about. I could care less about the temple. Then turn and leave. All right. Vara, as you have gone way deep off the trail into the water, what are you doing? I need this ring. I need, I need this person to leave and not be focused anymore on my friends. I'm I'm just I'm follow I'm still on the on the trail. I'll give another survival. Okay. That's a ooh, 25. Uh that you get this sudden inwash of it, and you recognize the scent of Merfolk. Whoa. And it goes much deeper out into the sea, but you, you've got a, an idea now how far it's going to be. Uh, you have to make a choice. Go deeper into this by yourself or go back for your friends. It's our, she's already on the path. She's already got the scent. She already made that choice. She trusts that Agrius and Adrastus will be okay. She's, she's going to keep going. And if she's like on a pretty good scent path, like uh, she'll she'll start dashing. Okay. But yep, yeah, we're we're just gonna we're gonna stick to it. We gotta get that ring. <laughs> The Minotaur is going to put his uh, weapon onto his shoulder. Look down at Agrios's body. What a pity. You should take him back to his uncle. And he is going to turn and address the two figures who are approaching. They've gone looking for the ring. The male figure is going to speak up. But that's not going to help if we cannot replace them. They have destroyed the body. There's nothing left. They're gone. And he will look over at the children. Unless we can replace them. Oh, no! <laughs> Agrios, dude, 
dude. <laughs> All right, let's see. Don't what make happens. me feel bad. Roll good. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if this is the end of Acrios right here. Oh, this will be so. I'll be so. I'll, I'll feel so really upset. bad too. So will I. Oh no! That's three down. No up. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Icarus. No, I don't want it to be my turn. No, <laughs> no. Okay, well, in that case, I think this is a good time to go on break. And <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I am removing Agrios. From the turn order. Don't say his name. How dare you stand where he's to it? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Tikaros, you are up. Okay, flying is fun. I love this. Wind in my hair, looking for Vara, <laughs> kind of getting bored. Well, Can I still see her? Give me a perception check, and I'm going to disadvantage your perception check because she has dived deep. Yeah. Okay. Nine. You see something in the water, and you follow it for a ways, and then it heads back into the shore, and you realize that's not far. You've oh, lost no. track of her in the water. Well... In that moment, I would, despite my deep passion and commitment to the people I care about, I'm going to just go, you know what? Vara's a shark. She's gone on her path. She's going to be all right. And I will start heading back to the shore, but mm -hmm. just keeping a lookout over my shoulder the whole time. Okay, so move not dashing, just moving up. But are you gonna just, are you gonna use your action and your movement to go? Okay, cool. Just making sure. I will. All right, very good. All right, so you start heading back into shore. It's gonna be a a couple of turns before you're back in, of course. So, All right, <clears throat> Adrastos. Can I tell that? Do Agrius? I know? Do I know that I wish, this has moved from unconsciousness to death? I wish that he was here so he could answer that, but I'm going to say that you hear that final breath taken. You know the death rattle. You've heard that sound before. And then there's no breath. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I said I'd never lose another one. That's why I didn't have any more. And then I'm going to use my daunting roar ability and I'm targeting the kids and the mom. So they will be afraid of me oh. and run. All right. So everyone that can hear me, including them, is needs to make a wisdom save to see if they're afraid of me. All right. What's the DC on this? That's 12. It's not high. Oh, God. I'm sorry, 13. 19, 17, 17. Okay. That's, that's the straight roll. That's no modifiers. <laughs> well, that's a bonus action, so it's okay. Oh, sorry they, about they that. They, they, you know what? I, they're, they're scared, but they're more scared of the creatures they see approaching than they are of you. And they're, they're well, just frozen in place. Adrasus is now putting all of his effort into destroying the Minotaur. Okay. Every ounce of it. It's... So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. And I know it's not within the rules, but I know how we like to play the story. Can I attack recklessly? because I am very, very upset. Knowing that that means they will get advantage to attack me back. Yes. Great. So that's a straight roll. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Miss. Oh, no. Um, I think that's a hit 16. That is a hit. <clears throat> 12 damage. All right. All right. Uh, what type of damage is that? It's slashing still. Okay, slashing. All right. You hit across his back as he's turned the other way, looking at the others. He's going to turn and look at you. Why do you persist? Adrastos is past the point of speech. He just looks at him and just... <laughs> Stupid cat! And he is going to take his hammer and just kind of punch it out at your face. I'm just going to do the one attack. Oh gosh, that is a 24. That'll hit. That is uh, two of the um, slashing and 10 force damage. Okay, so um, Adrastos takes that to the chest and it drops him to zero. And then he plants his sword in the ground and uses his heroic destiny to go to one. All right. And he is going to look at you and go, stay down, and he is going to punch you with the intent of knocking you unconscious. Okay. And, wow, that is a 24. All right, I, I'm unconscious. All right. And... Let's see, where are we at? We got so out of sequence there. Okay, Tikaros went, Adrastos went. Actually, those were your... I shouldn't have fought you yet. You hit him. I apologize. We're going to have to come back to yours because Vara... We, we'll hit it in order anyway, but Vara would have actually gone in between us, but since she's half a mile away. Vara, what okay. are you doing? <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm so upset. So, yeah, if I've, got, if I've got the good... Um, I think I would... I feel pretty confident that I'm going the right direction, so I would dash in the order of okay. the survival of this turn. All right. We would be on another map at this point, so I'm going to have to put you on hold as you delve into the water. But it is now gone from this shallow water to very deep as you are moving down into the deep parts of the bay. Okay. All right. And we will come back to you shortly. Tikaros. That's a me. Um, mechanically, fly spell. I've got 60 feet, and if I dash 120 feet around. Yep. Just so if you do that again, this back. will get you back to the shoreline, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Simply because I like the idea of you being back to the shoreline. Okay. That's it. Um, you know where everybody was. You've got vision that will, you know, it's not super dark. So at this point, enough of the night has traveled on. 80 feet away from you, you see the Minotaur standing. You see the two figures, the spirits from the temple approaching, and Agrios and Adrastos are lying on the ground, not moving. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Adrastos, you do not have to make a death saving throw since you were rendered unconscious and not in the heat of battle but you can't do anything. That's unfortunate because that's what I'm good at. <laughs> I have advantage on those. <laughs> it should have been me! <laughs> Still could be. We'll see. Vara. It might. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm All right. You are on, well, we already did that. So you're on another map, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, Tikaros, what you can see in the distance is those other spirits approach. They look over the two bodies, and then the two that were the guardians pick up the body of Agrios <laughs> and begin carrying it away. 
No. The Minotaur looks over the body of Adrastos and raises his hammer and seems to think about it for a moment. Can I scream? Absolutely. I would like probably let out an involuntary just scream as I saw that happening. Do me a favor. Give me a persuasion or intimidation, okay. whichever way you would intend the scream to go. <laughs> it would be intimidation, I would say. Okay. Or would it be persuasion? Because she's much nicer than that. She's not very angry. Oh, good, good conundrum, Tan. <laughs> no, it would be. It would be shock. It would be they're picking up the body of Agrios. It would be like a an intent to do not hit him okay. rather than an intimidation for her. Ooh, yeah, yeah, 18. All right. The Minotaur is going to stop and look over and see you and kind of grab his arm and look at it for a moment and then turn and follow the other two as they carry Agrius' <gasps> body away. Oh, my gosh. So, Tikaros, you're up. Okay. I hightail it, all of my movement, flying 120 feet, if I can make it back. Let's have a look. Over to... Addressed us. I think uh, that should definitely be in the range of where you're yeah. going. Yeah. Easy, easy. I do it. I smash my way over to him, addressed us, and I'm pulling out the, the coin from my pocket that we each have one of. Um, and I'm just going to clasp it into his hands and say, no, no, not today. All right. So are you actually going to pop it onto him? Yes. I'm clasping okay. it into his hands. I'm taking his paws and like gotcha. smooshing them together okay. with it in between them. I, I heard I heard that as your hands, but it's his hands. Okay, that's what I wanted it's to make hands. sure of. All right. She's not so, that dumb. His hands. <laughs> so, Adrastos, you 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 awaken to Tikaros standing over you, holding your paws together. And you are now conscious. Okay. And I'm going to say the these guys have moved around. Um, not immediately because you would be laying down and seeing Tikaros's face above you. So I'm going to move them off, and they've had a, they've had at least a turn to move away. So I'm going to put them up about right here. So. Okay. Where? Where? Sorry. That goes with them. Okay, calm down. Agrius is not looking good, and we can't fight them. They are too powerful. They Where almost they killed go? all three of us. I'm not telling you till you calm down. <laughs> That's a persuasion. I need to roll a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, my wisdom's not high, but roll a persuasion check, because... I can and will. <laughs> Dirty 20. Okay. So, Adrastos roars angrily to the sky. And then he falls to the ground, jabs his sword into the ground at um, Tikaros's feet and rips the band off of his left hand or off of his <gasps> right hand it's too early for that just calm down now is the time for stealth and calm not fighting we can do things yet Icarus, i'm not going to follow them but please if you care about me at all Leave me alone. Yeah, okay. You should know Vara has turned into a shark and I was watching her for a while and she's in the water down by the bay. We shouldn't be splitting up, but what I should do is follow them stealthily and find out where they're taking Agrios so we can regroup and go after them. That's what I'm doing and I will leave you alone. 
and I'll stealthily fly in the direction I saw. As um, you go to leave, Adrasus is going to reach out and grab your arm, and he's going to pull you back, and he's going to hug you. Come back. I can't afford another one. And then he's going to let you go. I will. I'll come back. And I leave. You fly off after them stealthily. Their attention is going to be focused on what they're doing, so I'm not going to make you roll for it because I'm sure, assuming you could keep altitude and quiet and everything. And uh, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Vara, as you swim deeper out into this and you've got the scent of this, you and the water begins to turn that very dark, almost blackish blue tint of the depths. You see up in front of you a large gaping hole in the bed of the sea. It's like something just took it and pulled the earth aside. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> okay, I go in. I, I want to flip you over to that map, but... <laughs> I got to move everybody to it. It's going to be kind of funky going back and forth between the two. So if everybody wants to be patient with that, give me a second and I will move you over to that map. Yeah. So you can see what's going on there. Maybe. Let's see if this will work. For my part, at least, I will be stationary for the rest of the session. Okay. Cool to know. You know, it doesn't help if I only move the player map and not my map too, so that I can actually show this. I'm going to take us out of combat because we're not fighting at the moment. If we get back into it, then we'll uh, worry about that. So, Vara, uh, mm. you should be able to see the map now, I hope. Yeah, like a trench. And, and I'm going to put you right about here on that map. So if you want to put your token down there, you can. Right about there. Here? Mm-hmm. I don't like that you have a map prepared for this. I'm scared I had plans. <laughs> I had plans. I had plans for the party. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> when have we ever done what you planned? <laughs> All right. That's that's half the fun. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm swimming. I'm going. I okay. I I feel that that is the destination. Obviously, I'm not track like heavy sniffing, but. I still have a basic sense since that's my sight. So if it seems okay. like it's in that trench, I'm uh... at a, After a moment, you see <laughs> a shark. You see a very large shark. But there's something around it. It's, it's almost like it's, you see like there's a bubble in the water around it. It doesn't seem like something separate from the water. And the shark is swimming around inside this bubble. When it turns and sees you and begins to start moving in your direction kind of like the bubbles moving with it with and it's the inside bubble? i don't like and that and it begins to swim in your direction is it swimming in a friendly shark kind of way or is it swimming in a it's angry swimming shark it's kind a, of way? a friendly sh <laughs> this ain't bruce <laughs> are we homies i mean I <laughs> it, i'm also it almost, shark <laughs> it almost seems as though it's caught a sense that you are there and it may be coming to investigate. So it's kind of got that shark on the hunt. Okay. Not Perimeter sure if it's check. got its prey sure. yet. You know, it can't okay. figure out if the surfer on the surfboard is a seal or a surfer on a surfboard. So it's not sure what it's right. going to do yet. Okay. I'm, as of right now, I'm going to ignore it. And I will keep making my way towards the trench. Okay. Go ahead and uh, do your movement down in that direction, I guess. I mean, I'm going to dash probably still, so I'll... That, that would get me all the way to the trench and probably a little ways into it. Yeah, because it's 45 to the trench, and then I'd go downwards the rest of my movement, which would be 35. Okay. If you are moving that fast, it is going to see you and move in your direction as well as soon as i can get the stupid uh 
character sheet to open here. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm, I'm schmoving. And it is going to follow where you're at and begin to dive after you. And then it's going to hit on the edge of this. And it's almost like it's caught on something. You see as the shark begins to swim forward, and then it's almost like it hits the edge of that bubble and stops. And it's like mm. the bubble is stuck or something. Interesting. That it's in. So it's not able. But then it slowly starts moving forward, almost as though maybe this thing is rolling that it's inside of. And it's getting closer oh. to the large gap where you're at. Okay. How uh, sound travels differently in water. So I assume as a shark, I can speak shark. Do we know each other's language? Are we? Because I'm a reef shark. I'm gonna. This is. I'm. You know. I'm gonna go Vara, with. Because Vara, Vara can talk to. <laughs> as a triton, she can speak to other animals. So I guess I guess because you maintain intellect, but I I don't know. That's a complicated yeah, one. Yeah, I'm so good I with it. You can. Okay. You can uh i'll just shout in shark that i mean no harm just in case it thinks i'm an intruder or a predator or something and at that the attention of the shark which was kind of like this looking for you just kind of puts its head straight up at you and the sound that comes back to you is not a voice it's the sound of like kind of some kind of uh material rubbing against the rocks Kind of like it's scraping a bit and it begins to roll towards you more quickly and now i'm gonna have to say roll initiative as we we're going to enter I, back into i was trying to be nice <laughs> i was trying to give a warning <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to fight bubble shark <laughs> okay Ooh. I got a 15 on the initiative. Giant shark right. thingy is so correct. Uh, and I'm trying to get roll 20 to cooperate with me, but it's being a little, you know, roll 20. I love it and hate it. Yeah, it's it's a struggle. <sighs> Come on. All right. So this is where we're at, and you get to move first at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another survival check just to make sure I'm still on the right path as I navigate into this trench. Okay. Ooh, 11. The smell of this thing, which is also a fishy kind of smell, but not, not an appropriate fishy kind of smell. Something seems odd about it, but it may not be anything you've ever encountered before. Uh, you can definitely tell the, that, Corpse smell, whatever went down into this trench. Okay. But this other thing is giving you that kind of a sense of something that's hunting you. You know, the pheromones out in the water, it's 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 definitely coming after you at this point. Yeah. Um, do I still smell the merfolk? Are they down in this trench? Uh yes, I well. do still so, do still smell that. Okay. Um, great. So that was my action. Then, yeah, I just moved with the rest of my movement. So, so you're going to, and I assume this trench. is, this is downward. Yes. So what is, what is your full movement that you're taking? 40. 40. All right. Yeah. So the shark is going to uh, move over close to you and it is going to be 20 feet behind you as you descend into this trench. Cool. Love that. And now comes the fun part. We, since you continued into the trench, we have to go to the next map. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Methinks maybe I <laughs> went a little far off the path. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. Whoa. Whoa. It kept our, it kept our turn order but not the icons. So I will have That's to go fine. grab that again. So Let's see if I can get it to, uh, there we go. Are we still acting in turn order? I was kind of handling her for the moment and then I'll come back up to you guys. Okay. No problem. I, I was just, just curious. Wanted to, yeah. Wanted to see what she was going to do. So, so, uh, Vara, as you descend, 
Yeah, if you would put your token Where on Where would scale, I be? be great. Uh, just somewhere in front of the shark. <laughs> cool. Okay. So this is the problem with trying to represent 3D on a, a 2D surface. Oh, you know, it's terrible. It's yeah, whenever that. we did Ishva, we had like a little sidebar too yeah, that we would move yeah, the tokens so up and down on. It's 20 feet it's above exhausting. you. Sure. As okay. you descend in, you can see below you a, probably about another 80 feet down this uh, shape, which you've seen underwater. You've seen underwater homes before. So you are definitely yeah, this is familiar like deep in my memory. Cool. with this type of uh, wow. architecture. What would you like to do? Cool. Um, if it's 80 feet down, I'll dash and that'll get me there. All right. That will get you down to the bottom of this. The shark will uh, proceed behind you, but it's still only going to move about half your speed. So it's going to be 40 feet above you. Cool. I got something in my eye and it's really bugging me. Yeah, sorry. You should yeah, go underwater. You know what happens. It'll help. <laughs> it's, it's tears, right? It's tears. <laughs> It is. It's it's all the crying from killing. It must be. It must be. Your dad really destruction you that you've caused. You, your fault. No, I'm <laughs> so I'm going to say if you dove down to there, I'm going to put you at the front door of this place. That'd be great. Is where you're at. And I'm going to cut back up to the top where uh, Tikaros was following these figures. And a few minutes have gone by. And uh, Tikaros, they are taking Agrios's body back to the temple. Uh, That's the direction okay. they're headed. I'm going to turn that my camera sense. off, but I'm still here. I'm just eating real cheese. <laughs> <laughs> now I want grilled cheese. Yeah, me too. Tell oh, James to bring enough for everybody. Anyway. <laughs> I'll tell James. <laughs> I'll get him right on that. <laughs> You'll, you can expect it. Well, Tam, you can expect it in a few hours. And Kraz, you can expect it in a few days. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but you maybe might two, not want to eat weeks. it if the ice is melted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right the temple that makes perfect sense okay okay i've got it and i fly back to adrastos because that's that's makes so much sense of course they're taking it back there okay adrastos uh what are you doing as tikros flies off and you're there with the children who have begun to say how sorry they are that they didn't mean for any of this to happen. It was it was just it was just a prank. Just leave. Now, now they fail the fright roll. <laughs> and they will uh they will kind of back away and start so, heading back, kind of the direction Tikaros went off, back towards their village. Adrastos is going to pick up the thing that he was that he had around his hand because he hasn't destroyed it; he just took it off of his hand. Got it. And he's going to put it in his pack, and then he is going to take out a small, just like hunting skinning knife, mm -hmm. and he's going to look at it for a second. And then he's going to start shaving off his mane. Wow. All right. A few minutes as, after, as you're doing this, you hear the sound of hooves approaching and a wagon. It's still a very pretty good ways away, but you definitely recognize the sounds of hoof beats. Two horses and a wagon approach. And Vara's not back, so we'll just handle this as it continues. <laughs> um, after a few more minutes, and are you shaving it all off? Is that because I'll give time that you finish all that? Um, the wagon appears in the distance. Uh, Prime is driving the wagon in your direction. Bad time for Adrastos to be alone with Prime. Ah, uh, okay. Drassos is just going to finish what he's doing. And then he's going to stand up and walk to the wagon. All right. Uh, Prime will draw the reins up. Tikaros, 
since you were following and you said you were turning around to come back, you pardon me. You'll be back about the time that Adrastos is approaching the wagon. You're you're kind of at a distance. You see it from 40, 50 meters away. Okay, great. And Prime is going to look down. I'm glad to see you're okay. Did you find Aramas? Prime, you are a member of my clan. And because of that, I will say this to you only once. Your deception directly or indirectly resulted in the death of my brother. If you lie to me again, I will separate your head from your shoulders. And then I'm going to walk around the wagon. And just he sit in not, the back and wait. He is not going to say a word. Just sit there holding the horses while you climb into the back. Uh, Tikaros, what are you going to do? So I saw that, but did I hear it? Uh, you can give me a perception check. I mean, you're 50 meters away. I don't think Adrastos was yeah. yelling, so I'll do disadvantage perception. To see if you oh, I was definitely way. not yelling. Sure, that's very hard then. Fair enough. That checks. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, honestly, just, you just... Sorry, go ahead, Adrastos. I, I think that drives the point home more. That this is the first time Adrastos has spoken quietly in a long time. Yeah. So, Tigros, what you see is Adrastos walk up. They obviously exchange some words, and then Adrastos goes and climbs in the back of the wagon, and Prime just kind of sits there holding the reins. Saying hello, obviously. I just make my way towards them. Um, yeah. And get to the cart, I guess, and just... I think I'll just look at Prime. I think she's a bit in shock still. And we'll just kind of look up at Prime and not say anything for the minute. No, he's looking straight forward. So he doesn't even see that you were there. It's like days of our lives. <laughs> Everyone looking up in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> well, until Vara's back, uh, we're going to have to continue scene playing. So keep going. Oh, yeah, just I just, just got uh, back. I told I'm here. I was just eating. I, I, didn't want I know, but I, I I didn't want to interrupt your eating, and I wanted to explain interrupt to them why I wasn't me. going somewhere else. You know, <laughs> interrupt I me. try. I try to be considerate. <laughs> oh well, I appreciate it. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to jump back down there for a minute. Then, unless somebody had something they were ready to do, I'm going to jump back down under the water under the sea. Okay. Oh, All right. Uh, so, Vara, you are at the entrance to this thing. The this weird shark thing continues to uh, lower towards you. And you are at a door, and the door is closed. Uh, okay. Well, terrifying scenario we're facing. I do not have another wild shape. So if I wild shape into a triton and I enter this home, I will not be able to turn it into a shark when I leave. Um, can I enter? It, there, so there's a door. I assume, a can door. I, I'm going to initially just try to push it open as shark. Does that work? Not like with a huge amount of force, but I'm going to try to just kind of. I'm going to say yes. Yes, it does work. Okay. And give me just a second here. And as you make your way inside, why did my tokens not show up? There they go. You can see them. Okay, good. Uh, inside, you see what appears to be a middle-aged merfolk female and a merfolk child. Cute. What would you like to do? Because you're, you're first of, as you came in the door. They're, they're a little I surprised to see you. Enter as shark. Um, is the ring in here? 
you would have to uh, give me a check for that, and I'm going to move you to some kind of... In well, let's do a perception first. Great. Perception is 23. You definitely get the scent of the decay. That decayed okay. corpse in here. Along with the scent of the merfolk fishy smell that you were picking up as well. And is it in the, the obvious spot? Can I grab it? Uh, you can. It's you can just pick it up that it's there's a scent inside the house. You can okay. smell that it's here. You have not made visual contact of any kind yet. It's all been sent. And since you're in an enclosed yeah. space, it's not going to be as easy. And yeah, uh, the adult merfolk is going to look over at you and out out of my house and start making her way over to you with like, it's kind of like a, a broom, but it's more of a rake and kind of shuffling it towards you. Out! Like a, out. Zen, like a zen garden kind of rake? Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Cool. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll drop the wild shape. <laughs> I gotta see how they react to this, because that would be an interesting thing to have happen. Uh, cool. You drop the shape into this, and you almost hear this guttural kind of a growl as as bubbles are released from the gills and ugh, and takes the rake end and points it at you and says, what are you doing in my house? I guess it isn't ordinary to just walk into people's homes, huh? Um, Not normally. <laughs> cool. Vara kind of, she hasn't... I, she, she hasn't really ever seen other tribes, at least not for a very long time, right? Right, and she's more she's a merfolk, not necessarily a triton. Not so quite she's a triton. Okay, similar but uh, more nah. fishy tailed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. So Vara's gonna kind of have a moment of like just like smiling and just like being dumb for a second and just like, oh, I. It is so nice to interact with people who are also in the water for the first time in quite a while. Um, hello, my name's Vara. Don't mean to intrude. Uh, I was following a scent of a ring that is very important to a temple above water, and the scent led me to your home. Have you found an alabaster ring recently? And I'm assuming you've moved inside, so I'm going to move your token I'm inside. Like, yeah, I'm like awkwardly in the doorway, like in front, <laughs> yeah. And you hear this sound outside, kind of a muffled thing, and then you get this wave of, of water as this shark thing appears outside and you hear this oh, kind of a noise and it sends this water wave in behind you and you get this sense of pressure behind you. Oh, there's also a giant shark bubble outside. I don't know if that's your guard dog. Um, I will need it to not chase me when I leave. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> she will kind of move over here with the rake still at you and almost pushing you back out the door and going, why would I want to protect you from anything? Get out of my home! I'm just looking for the ring. I'd be happy to trade something. I'm, I'm very sorry for the intrusion. Um, I don't I... care. I don't care what you're looking for. I don't know what ring you're talking about. Get out of my home. And unless you resist, she is going to push with the rake to push you back out the doorway. Oh, um... Oh, yes, no, please do not push me out there with the shark in a bubble. And yeah, if I can try to dodge or, or move to a different part of the house. All right, well, I will do this. Uh, well, if you're doing it as a disengage and move, I'm not going to bother with the attack roll. So if you want to do it that way so that, yes, you move out of the doorway, where are you going to go in this house? Yeah, let's, You've got let's this do low that. wall. You've got kind of a low wall in front of you. You've got this ring that goes it's a ring this ring that goes yeah. around the outside of it where would you like I'm, to go i'm just going to kind of move i think over here okay ish kind of just like try or maybe even a little further just to kind of triangle myself between the two of them right don't you go near my child and she will pursue after you quickly Oh, I do not into, I really do not want to, I've gotten into so many fights I don't want to be in today. Really, really, I, can I just have a moment to look for the ring? I will offer you something in return. Um, 
What ring? There is no ring. Get out can of I, my house. Can I just look for it real quick? I can smell it. It smells of death. Um, it's circle shape. It's, it looks like a, like a white stone. Uh, if you Your just child. give me a chance to look for it, I'll show you where it is, and, and then I'll be on my way. That Meanwhile, the shark thing is still battering at the door, but it's too big to get in. Yeah. The child is a, <laughs> on the opposite side from you, kind of cowering, and you hear whimpering noises as it is quite scared of what's going on. There is nothing in this house. Get out of my house now. And reaches in to a, this area behind it. It's kind of like a pouch and pulls out this rapier made out of coral. I, oh. I, I am severely injured. If, if you were to attack me, I would die. I, I'm just looking for a belonging that's important. I, I, I can step outside, but then I might die to the shark. I, I really don't think you want to kill someone today. <laughs> you invade my home, and then you proceed to tell me the things that I would want. Get out of my house, and she is going to jab at you kind of half-heartedly, so I'm going to do it as a disadvantage. Okay. Because the main, the main goal is to get you out of the house. Uh, yeah, she does not make contact with it, but she, you know, it's kind of like she goes by and instead of jabbing you with it, she taps you on the side with it. Out, out, out. Is, is the shark in the bubble going to kill me? I don't know. I don't care. Get out of my house. So it's, so it's not yours. No, get out of my house. Oh, oh okay. Well, can we keep having this conversation outside then? And Vara will start walking towards the door. So how are you going to get past her? Because you've got a kind of a narrower thing here. I'll kind of, I'll kind of do like this awkward, like uh, I, I need to pass you, and <laughs> yeah, and just kind of maybe go over the wall and around because that's this the darker ring is a solid wall, so you wouldn't be able to go through it. You have the option of going over because it's a dome. I don't want to go into I, the center part. I would kind, of, I, I think I, I won't move until she backs away. Because I don't want to, like, further intrude on her space in the event that she might think I'm, like, ignoring her. And so I'm basically, I'm just going to kind of... In that case, I, I, give me a persuasion I'll, to... S go ahead. Give me a persuasion to see if she'll back away. Yeah. Right? I, I, I'll, I'll leave, but I this is a circular home. I You would need to move backwards. I'll, you can... I, however you want to do this, I'll do it. And persuasion? Yes. Um, it's a 14. <laughs> she moves forward and places the rapier kind of right here on your chest and kind of jabs it in not enough to do damage but out of my house now i, I, I can't move past i um okay uh <laughs> and she'll uh yeah so i guess i'd start i just kind of make my way out however i can so i guess kind of climbing on this wall and then going around here Okay, so you're underwater, so you could swim. I guess up. I could I mean, swim. Oh, I can yeah. totally just swim over. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and just kind of swim past. So she follows you with the blade as you make your way to the door. And as you get to the doorway, uh, you have Mad Mama with a, with a rapier behind you and Weird Shark thingy in front of you, and Hi. you are in the doorway. Yeah, so I'm going to stand in the doorway and I'm going to look at the shark. And uh, Bar can speak with ocean animals. If it is an ocean animal, it sounds like it might be something weird. Um, and uh, she'll just, hello, I, do you also want to kill me? <laughs> and in response, it kind of lunges at the door, uh, but the shark comes at you, but when it hits the door, it's almost like it hits some kind of a membrane or something, and you see as it kind of flattens it against it. Okay, well, I guess you're trapped. Um, can Vara squeeze out of the house, or is this kind of preventing her from leaving? I'm going to say it's right up against it. There might be a little bit of a gap, but you're going to be... It would be hard to get through it without touching whatever it is. And it's close enough now that you can perceive there is, it's like a bubble, you know, it's a little more present now. It is definitely distinct from the water. Okay. 
if but you can try to move past it if you would like to i'm gonna try i'm gonna as as long as this person isn't further threatening me i'm gonna continue to have a conversation with the doorway yeah <laughs> okay. um uh if i let you free of this bubble will you will you go away or will you not harm me and I could you, do that. I could figure that you, out. You feel a jab in your back from the uh, coral rapier. She goes, I will harm you. Get out of my house. I, this, you're putting, yeah, I'm between a rock and a hard place right now, and I'm really just doing my best. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, she'll, okay, Vara will go ahead and move out of the house. Um, and she'll move against the bubble. She'll put her hands on it and see if she can move it. Or I guess uh, pop it. As you place your hands on it, you feel this kind of pressure on this thing. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. DC sure. 16. Good grief. This could TPK night, I don't know. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> Did you say it's a two? Yeah. Oh gosh. You put your hands on it and you feel yourself passing past the membrane and then it's almost like you are sucked inside of it as oh, you feel this great. and it pulls you inside. And that is going to be Make me well. You've you've made the save on it. You failed the save on it. So I don't have any choice. We got to go with it. I'm in the bubble. That is going to be twelve piercing damage. I'm down. As you are pulled inside this creature, and I'm going to go back up top to these guys, and I'll be back to you in just a moment. Cool. I'm gonna finish off my sandwich angrily. <laughs> oh, well, Hebrus, address us. What's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get into the back with Adrastos, just staring at his head. And Ariana's still sleeping off on the side, by the way. Without looking at Tikaros, Adrastos is gonna go. Where did they take him? I'm not going to follow them. I'm in no condition to do that. But where did they take him? Do I believe him with my investigator skills? I am being completely truthful. Okay. Well, they took him to the temple. I don't think they're going to do anything good with him. So we need a plan. Not rash fighting anymore. No, that really doesn't solve anything. He's gonna Where's take your... the he's gonna take the wrap out and slowly start to wrap it back around his hand. Yeah. <gasps> I have an idea. Where's your hair? Where did you put your hair that you cut off your head? Uh, I don't know. I assume the winds took it. Guess there's a pile of it over there. Great. I scamper over to the pile of hair and try to collect enough for a battle braid. So you can see me frantically trying to pick up hair. If there's wind, I'm looking <laughs> I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up to address us how much hair is there and what can be found. And I'm good uh, with it. I guess it, it, it's not going to be like an actual battle braid. It's like a, a, like a Jedi Padawan. <laughs> thing but there, there's some hair there probably yeah so i bring the hair back to you and i'm just gonna this is the first time i met Egrios, or maybe the second time or maybe the third time we were bonding i had no idea i would ever be friends with somebody like that and we did battle braids no i did battle braids and this is one for you to keep He's going to take it and look at it. And he's going to smile at her, curl it up, and put it in his bag. Say, 
I'll wear it when my honor is restored. Okay, we should really go down to the shore and see if Farah has come out of the water yet. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> all right, well, I assume you will make your way down to the shore. Meanwhile, deep under the sea, uh, Vara, I guess this means I need a death saving throw, please. Yeah. Oh, no. This is I, quite the game. This mother better not let an innocent person die in front of her son. <laughs> I'm so daughter, upset. but okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a daughter? Oh. That's, oh, dude, it was almost a five, and then it flipped to an 18. That was beautiful. <laughs> the drama. I didn't know, I didn't know digital dice were capable of that. Okay, success. So, Vara, the last thing you feel as you are drawn into this thing is the piercing bite of this shark, in addition to having been sucked into it. Um, but then you have no consciousness of what's going on. I mean, obviously you're unconscious. You have no idea how much time has passed. I know what's happening outside, but you don't. So I am cool. going to uh, I am going to need you to make another death saving throw. Okay. Come on. Another eighteen. Oh Ooh. yes. <laughs> Come on, Vara. Um, do me a favor. Pick a color. Black, green, or red? Green. It's my favorite color. Don't fail me. I'm going to need another death saving throw, please. Okay. I don't know if that was good or bad. You've got a good poker face. That's a 10. I'm stable. You are stable. <clears throat> Unless the shark kills me. <laughs> that, would, uh, that would be bad. <laughs> you have no idea what's, what's happening and what's going on. Um, but suddenly you, you feel consciousness coming back into you. Just a little bit. And you see this merfolk person standing over you. And they're kind of like scraping this oozy stuff off of you. And you pick up the Ugh. scent of blood in the water. And you realize that you are bleeding from many different wounds. As apparently this shark continued to gnaw on you while you were unconscious. A bit but, rude. But you were pulled out. And... The little girl is there. I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't. I didn't mean to cause a problem. I didn't know. It's okay. She'll. She'll survive. <laughs> yeah, if you'd have failed that saving throw, this is going to be bad. <laughs> uh huh. Oh yeah. So you are back with one hit point. Beautiful. Glee. We love to see it. I apologize. And she will take and place this alabaster ring in your hand. God, I you... Assume... God! <laughs> bitch! Okay. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> I assume this is what you were looking for. Uh, yes. Tell her. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it belonged to anyone. I just... I just found it. It's all the children's faults. All these children. <laughs> Fucking kids. <laughs> was was that in character? Or no, was no, that... no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, Bar doesn't have it's... a Bar doesn't have enough consciousness to be able to say anything more than oh, thank you. <laughs> I've done for you what I can. I don't know where you belong. Um, my, my associates have 
removed the ooze and uh, you will be saved. Is, We're sorry, these is, odd yeah. creatures have moved in from from the south side of Southlands from the sea and I'm not sure quite where they come from. They're they're very odd. Quite unusual. How are, in what way are they odd? I've never seen it's it's almost as though this shark is living inside this bubble of this other creature. It's not a normal thing to see in the sea, but there have been a lot of odd things. That's that's why we're. I'm sorry, I'm saying too much. No, um, we. I. I'm with a group that's been investigating. Um, well, I don't know how in context you are with. On land, but um. None of can help it. There's odd happenings everywhere. Um, I I was upon a ship on a river where suddenly the water flow flow backwards. Um, we're oh yes, we heard it. about that. We heard about yes. that. Yes. Um, Nasa is quite upset. There's a lot going on. Um, but we're, we're we're trying to fix it. I'm. Sorry for coming in your home like that. I, I have I have friends who need my help, and I need to right the wrong. So I wasn't thinking straight. I thank you for saying. Well, I apologize. Had had my daughter told me that she had gone to places she wasn't allowed, and you'll see kind of as the the girl kind of <laughs> winces back a little bit. I'm going to have to ask you to forget that you saw us here. Forget this place. Okay. I have, unfortunately, orders to kill any land dweller that would come across this, but obviously you don't qualify. So I'm yes, going I'm to kind of edge of on that a bit. All right. Well, thank you. If, um, well, if this ooze, uh, it's worse, or you need any help. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I don't expect you to go on land, but uh, you don't you expect anything because you will forget this ever happened, and you will forget this place. Okay. Yes. Well, there is a ship called the Providence. And should you ever see it sailing overhead, and you need help, you may call upon it. I would say that the ocean would freeze over before I would approach a land dweller's vessel. Understood. Well, thank you for your generosity. Um, I will see you I, as far as the gateway to our area, but you will have to make it back to shore on your own. I can do that. Right. And so she will escort you to the opening of this gap, this crevasse, this whatever you want to call it in the bottom of the sea. Sure. And then you will be on your own to swim back. Cool. Yeah, I'll I'll like shake her hand. Uh if that's a thing. I don't know the cultural. <laughs> shake fins, you know. <laughs> yeah, kind of do a little fin shake. She, yeah, I'll she, kind of she, do a fin shake and um she would do the, it, it would be very half heartedly if she even, you know, uh, re replied at all with it. So reciprocated. Sure, that's fine. All right. I will not speak of you, but thank you. And I will leave. All right. That will get you back up, flowing through the previous map. Yeehaw. <laughs> I don't have a yeah. wild shape, so I would just be swimming. <laughs> All right. I then... ideally, rather than staying kind of on the ocean floor, uh, the way that um, I did in shark form, Bar would uh -huh. pretty much try to surface and then stay at top of water. Okay. 
Well, it's going to be a, a lot of swimming, and I'm not going to make... You're a waterborne creature. I'm not going to make you do constitutions. You can swim it. It's just going to... It's a matter of how Thanks. long it would take. It's going to it's going to take a while for sure, but yeah, she can breathe underwater if she needs to take a break or anything like that. Okay. Uh Tikaros, Adrastos, uh you apparently got out of the wagon or did you have Prime take the wagon down? That's that's something we need to answer. We're staying together now. We're staying together. I say. All right. So he As will take the wagon. He will Follow your directions to take the wagon down to the area you would like. Yeah. If it's easy and, you know, obviously if the, if it can go, we're not going to force it. If it, if the path is not very good. Yeah. It's, it's, he's going to stop kind of, uh, up here a little bit on that rise. So hopefully you can see where that's at on the map. Got it. Things. All right. So eventually, after several hours of waiting, as the sun yeah. is coming up on the next day, <laughs> you see as Vara slowly swims her way into shore. Yeah, I imagine she's like one, uh, like I imagine like maybe one of her arms is like basically like inert at this point, like from shark wound and swimming. And so she's very half-heartedly swimming up. Still, well, I guess maybe the blood has clot by now but yeah i'm gonna say that they would have done something with kelp or something like that to help wrap oh, it up nice. so that you wouldn't bleed into the water and attract sharks yeah that would so. be nice i was a little worried about that <laughs> cool <laughs> good <laughs> i i thought about it too late thank you when i'd already goodness. said you could swim back because so. <laughs> i was gonna say something about it so good <laughs> I've, I've killed enough people this session <laughs> thank you thank you all right so um she makes it back toward you guys see her when she's probably i mean you could probably perceive her when she's a good hundred meters out something swimming in anyway so i will leave it up to you all what you do which okay. may be nothing <laughs> i think at this point i will just sit and wait for her to come to the cart because I assume she can see us okay. All right. So you make it you make it to the beach, to the shoreline, and straggle Ooh. your one HP way out of the water. Cool. Yeah, I think Var is gonna collapse on the shore, to be honest. She would as make soon it as Var collapses on the shore, address those. Okay, then we would run. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adrastos will just scoop her up. Are you all right? I got it. <laughs> I got the ring. Thank you for waiting. That's amazing that you found it. Who do we give it back to? It uh, took a lot of effort. Yes, um, we need to return it to the temple. Okay, that's good because we need to go there anyway for. They have Agrios. Oh. Oh. Um, yes. Yeah, we should go right away. Maybe you don't look so good, and we should have a plan this time, because we keep fighting things that are stronger than us. And we need to heal, and we need a good plan. Is, is Agrios in danger? I mean, Agrios is dead. I got bit by a shark and nothing. Um, it wasn't for nothing, Vara. We can restore what was taken. She's just she's just gonna start sobbing. I haven't put you down yet, so I'm just gonna kind of hold you closer. Yeah. No, she's just she's she's exhausted. She's breathing. She's yeah. She's just no words for a little while. 
No main for you to cry into anymore, I'm afraid, but there's still a nice shape. That's shaver. okay. <laughs> all the all these prickly sharp hairs that have been cut off. Oh. <laughs> I think we need to rest and I'll absentmindedly try and I'll go over to prime actually. And I'll ask him if he'll help me just set up a camp or somewhere for us to rest and start busying myself. Right. And he will assist with that. All the meanwhile, he will working with Tikaros and avoiding Adrastos completely as much as possible wise all right so camp is set up it's daylight but you know you may be exhausted yeah. enough it won't matter i feel like we need to rest i'll just keep saying it in a strange kind of shock okay we need to rest i'll keep saying it to both of you i'm gonna kind of still holding Vara, like just lean up against the cliff and just kind of put her so she's laying not really across me but like head on my lap i'm just mm -hmm. gonna put my head back and fall asleep yeah she'll she she'll can move if she wants to no she'll stay there she'll eventually kind of sop herself out and she'll be quiet for a while and then she'll fall asleep from probably more so exhaustion than anything else not wanting to but body forcing her to and, she, and she'll stay where she's at mm -hmm. Well, I think in that case, if you guys are going to take a rest, this is where we will end the session.